be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's the deal? What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Pull up a seat. I hope you enjoy the content. And before we get into this food, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, subscribe, and go ahead and tap that bell while you're at it so you're notified anytime I drop a brand new video. All right, y'all. So today is about to be like a vlog, I guess. I'm going to try to walk y'all through what I eat in a day. Y'all asked for it, and here we go. So I have been fasting. I usually eat between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. so I intermittent fast for 16 hours um, I'm now my eating window it's a little after 12 so I'm about to have a smoothie that's how I'm gonna break my fast so let me show y'all what's gonna be in the smoothie all right so here we go with the smoothie so I'm gonna add banana avocado kale some blackberries yellow mango dragon fruit and some flaxseed all right so have I had these things together before no so I don't know. Just kind of winging it. These are the things that came to mind when I woke up this morning. These are the things that were on my mind. So I figured, all right, let's try it together and see how it come out. So I'm really hoping that these flavors all balance out somehow. You guys are going to see me drink it on camera. I'll be honest with you. So we got everything in the Ninja ready to go. I don't know, y'all. Something is telling me it's going to be real good because it's so random that I really feel like it's about to be good. Got the flax seeds in there along with everything else that I showed you. So let's give this a mix and see how it comes out. Now that don't look like much at all, y'all. That color don't look appealing. But I did have a lot of greens in there, plus those blackberries too. So let's go ahead and pour this up and see what it tastes like. The moment is true to see what this tastes like. It's definitely got an interesting flavor. I can't even identify the flavor. Not sweet, not bit. It's not sweet, not bitter. It tastes healthy as hell, for sure, which is good. But it's not bad. It's not really sweet. It's not really bitter. It's somewhere in the middle. Uh, would I make this again? Probably not. And if I could do it differently, I would take the avocado out. I think that that's what's throwing off the flavor of everything. Um, but I like avocado in some of my smoothies, but just not in this one. <laughs> so this is okay. I will drink this though. You know what I'm saying? This will be filling. It's my first meal of the day. And um, I'll eat again in a couple of hours. So get my nutrients in for sure. <laughs> and I'm going to actually drink everything that's inside of the blender. So yeah, I just want to check in real quick to say. This is my second glass of this. I, I told myself I was gonna drink everything that I made. So it was about 32 ounces. So this is my second um, glass of the smoothie for breakfast or you know, my first meal of the day. And the more I drink it, the, the better it tastes. It's really not that bad. So I would actually use all the ingredients that I use. It was like my mouth needed to warm up to it or something. So I just wanted to check in and say that real quick. Not bad. Hey, 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 what's going on y'all? Just checking in real quick. Um, just finished the workout. Um, so, so far, so all I've had today has been the smoothie that you saw earlier. I broke my fast with that, got some work done, did my workout. And now for my recovery, I'm going to have a protein shake. And I usually put uh, peanut butter and I like to put banana in mine. Um, so I'm gonna have a protein shake real quick. I'm gonna drink it with you on camera, let you know what I think about it. Some of you guys have seen this protein shake before on the vlog channel and some of y'all haven't. So I'm gonna introduce some of y'all to it, all right? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this recovery going. This is the protein powder that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. It's called Plant Made. I will leave the link below in the description box. I love that it has zero sugar in it. It's vegan. It's soy free. It's keto friendly. I usually use about one scoop when I make my protein shakes. And I use one tablespoon of peanut butter. And I usually prefer to use crunchy peanut butter for whatever reason. And I add my banana. And I usually add water to mine along with some ice. And I prefer a thick consistency. So as you'll see... It does have the consistency that I'm looking for. This is perfect. Get it poured in. Ah, perfect, perfect. And now I'm about to get to tasting and let you know exactly how I feel about this powder. All right, y'all, so I got my protein shake here ready to go. This is not my first time trying it. Um, so some of you guys have already seen this 
on the vlog, but I love this protein because it is soy free. I like that it has no sugar in it. It's not chalky. Doesn't have an aftertaste. Um, so I'll drink this and this will probably hold me up for about maybe, I don't know, about three hours. And then maybe I'll have a snack and then I'm gonna make dinner. So I think I'm gonna do spaghetti tonight. And I'm gonna do zoodles. Um, and I'm thinking that I wanna do like a like mushroom, like a mushroom meat sauce. It's gonna be vegan. Um, so I'm gonna try something different with the sauce and, and hopefully it just works out. So I'll bring you guys along with me on that journey. So see, cause we just gonna be winging it pretty much. Cause I've never made homemade sauce before. So, um, so yeah, so until snack time, until dinner time, see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so it is time for a snack. Um, so it's been about two hours since I had my protein shake. I'm getting a little hungry, so I figured I would have some hummus. I'm gonna try the, I bought two new um, different flavors of hummus that I've never had before. I have an everything bagel and I have a lemon poppy seed that I got from Sprouts that's in the grocery haul. Um, so I'm gonna try this out with some bell pepper and also with some cucumber. And I'm also trying this too, y'all. I'm trying this as well. This is the flow. This is the alkaline spring water. This is the organic mint one. I actually wanna start with this. Mm. Dang, that's really good. I mean, it has a cucumber flavor. I, I don't taste a whole lot of mint, but it has a very subtle cucumber flavor, so it's not overpowering. So if you are someone who doesn't like cucumber, I, I think you'd be okay. I also tried the, um, I tried the uh, grapefruit one, and I, I'm not a grapefruit fan, fan at all, but I actually really liked it because it's just a very subtle flavor. Like, it's not overpowering, and it's very refreshing. Um, so if you're somebody who struggles drinking water, this will probably be a really good water for you to have because it does have some flavor to it. All right, y'all. So I got some cucumber, got some bell pepper, got the everything bagel hummus. We got the lemon poppy seed hummus. For some reason, I don't think I'm gonna like the lemon poppy seed. I know I feel like it's gonna be sweet. Um, and I feel like that would just go better with the bell pepper. So let's try this one first. This is an everything bagel. Mm. That's good. Mm hmm. Tastes a lot of garlic in it, but it's not really, honestly. This really tastes like just garlic hummus, to be honest with you, to me. Unless my taste buds is tripping, it tastes just like garlic hummus. And I love garlic hummus. I don't really taste anything else other than that. So I'm a fan because now let's try the lemon, the lemon poppy seed. Try that by itself. Mm. By itself is really good. It's a terrible combination with the bell pepper. I would like the bell pepper with the everything bagel hummus though. That lemon poppy seed is good. It's really sweet though. And I'm not used to sweet hummus. So I'm trying to, I need to figure out what I want to put that on. I want to put it on like a like a bagel. I think I would really like that on a bagel. Definitely not on any of the veggies or chips or anything like that, but a bagel, that would be bomb. It's actually really good. This is good. Yeah, it's good. So if you see the lemon poppy seed and you like lemon poppy seed, you like sweet hummus, like or some looking for a sweet snack, a sweet um, snack alternative, I would say definitely get this. Mm. I'm actually really surprised. I wish I had a piece of bread or something to put it on, but anyway, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my snack. I'm definitely about to finish the rest of these vegetables with the everything bagel hummus um, because they pair well nicely. So finish with this, and then in a couple hours is dinner. So like I told y'all earlier, I think I mentioned what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make some um, 
some spaghetti, some vegan spaghetti. All right, so I'll see y'all in a few. What's up, y'all? Just checking in. It is now dinner time. Uh, time to put this plant-based vegan spaghetti together. I'm gonna do some zoodles. I am going to make my own tomato sauce, tomato slash red pepper sauce for the first time. And the meat is gonna be some baby bella mushrooms. So I'll show you some of the steps that I went through and show you the finished product as well. I think that this is gonna turn out good. I think so. Y'all, it is finally time to chow down. I'm done cooking. I don't know why I've been so caught up on trying to make this sauce. I have just been thinking about this roasted red pepper and roasted tomato sauce in my head for like the last week. Um, when I tasted it along the way, it tasted really good. I love that I was able to use mushrooms as the meat. So you don't really miss it. You know what I'm saying? The texture stuff is all the same. Mom is here. Mom, what do you think? It's delicious. It's good. Mm. Yes. It's okay. I'm about to get ready to try it. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Y'all, this is good. Mm. So I'm about to finish the rest of this dinner. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, it varies what I eat day to day, especially when I don't do videos. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Do you want more of these videos? See what I eat in a day? You know, see what I try, see what I make when I'm not on camera. I appreciate you getting this far in the video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, that's it. Be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.